Today's episode is all about SpaceX's highly anticipated Starship Flight 6, gearing up to launch on November 18th. This mission promises to push the limits of Starship's potential even further, and we're diving into all the critical details. What upgrades and tweaks is SpaceX bringing to this flight? How are they using these tests to fine-tune Starship for full orbital missions? And could this flight mark a real turning point in getting Starship orbital ready? This week has been loaded with updates, and with Flight 6 just days away, it's easy to see why excitement is sky high. SpaceX recently released a spectacular recap of Flight 5, featuring exclusive 4K footage that takes us closer than ever to the action. Even if you've watched every second so far, this footage reveals new details that offer fresh insights into Starship's strengths and challenges. One of the most jaw-dropping moments, a spectacular shot of Starship's hot staging. It's cinematic. A bluish engine glow lights up the frame as the booster flips around, and you can even see the Raptor engines moving into a neutral position right after staging. Uh, they're pointed outward here to minimize force and heat on the hot staging ring then smoothly gimbal back. It's a fascinating look at how Starship's hot staging process actually works. Then there's an unforgettable view of Starship's splashdown, this time from onboard. Right after it hits the water, the waves rush up over the flaps, submerging the camera in what's probably 5 to 10 meters of water. It's safe to say that this footage has built serious hype for the next flight. Just in, SpaceX announced the latest timeline, revealing all the excitement awaiting us. The FAA greenlighted this flight because it largely follows the same path as Flight 5, but there are some crucial updates. First up, a launch time. We're looking at 4 p.m. Central Time on November 18th, just before dusk. This timing not only gives us daylight for launch, but also, importantly, for another big part of the mission. More on that soon. Have you hit the like button yet? Help us boost the YouTube algorithm by giving us a like. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss out. Many thanks for your amazing support. Starting on the ground, there's a fresh change in fueling operations for both the booster and ship. Interestingly, loading times have stretched out again you might wonder why lengthen this process. Well, SpaceX initially shortened fueling times on early flights to reduce fuel boil off, the evaporation that happens as fuel warms up. When fuel heats up, it has to be vented, which can be costly. So quicker loading is the goal for the long run. Right now, these increased times are likely temporary, tied to ongoing upgrades at the Starbase fuel farm. We'll likely see loading times decrease again in future flights. For this flight, propellant loading now starts about a minute earlier than before, with ship fueling still beginning right at T-49 minutes and 50 seconds. The complete prop load wraps up at T-2 minutes and 50 seconds. Then at T-30 seconds, mission control gives the final go, and we're set. At T-10 seconds, water from the flame deflector sprays out, and at T-0, Starship launches skyward. Once it takes off, this mission will break some new ground, including the quickest turnaround between Starship flights. Just a month and five days. This sets the record for the fastest heavy lift rocket turnaround time ever, even faster than the Saturn V's turnaround times during the Apollo program. Let's take a moment for perspective. Saturn V's sixth launch was Apollo 11, the first moon landing. Starship Flight 6, on the other hand, is part of a rigorous testing program, building towards future payload missions and crewed flights. The comparison highlights just how methodically SpaceX is working to ensure Starship is as reliable as it needs to be. At liftoff, the booster will follow a nearly identical path to Flight 5 with some key changes. The booster's main engines cut off at T plus 2 minutes and 32 seconds, just one second earlier than Flight 5. Small as it sounds, this change could reflect weight reductions or improved thrust. Hot staging also happens one second sooner. 
after the booster flips around at T plus two minutes and 44 seconds, the central ring of 10 engines reignites to propel it back toward the launch pad. SpaceX has sped up the flip maneuver slightly, starting the boost back burn five seconds after hot staging instead of seven. With each iteration, SpaceX refines Starship systems to make each flight even smoother. The booster's boost back burn now lasts 54 seconds, a second shorter than before. Afterward, it discards the hot staging ring, which will splash down in the gulf. The booster's re-entry looks slightly different this time. It reaches transonic speeds a bit later, likely to reduce heating and minimize damage to the outer engines. During Flight 5, high temperatures during re-entry impacted some engines, so this modified trajectory should help mitigate that. As the booster approaches the pad, both the onboard computer and mission control will assess if it's in condition to attempt a landing catch. If not, abort options include a controlled ocean splashdown. Last time, a minor issue almost triggered an abort, so SpaceX has refined their criteria for a go-slash-no-go decision to ensure safe landings. Assuming all goes well, we'll see the booster settle back down into the catch arms, completing a seven-minute journey that will underscore SpaceX's reusability progress. Now, here's one of the mission's most exciting tests. After reaching a near-orbital path, the ship will enter a coasting phase. But unlike the last flights, which focused on re-entry, Flight 6 will include a Raptor engine relight test at T plus 37 minutes and 46 seconds. This demo shows Starship's capability to relight in zero gravity, an essential step for any mission that involves leaving and returning to Earth's orbit. Reentry is another focus for Flight 6, where SpaceX has planned tests for Starship's heat shield. This includes a new secondary thermal protection system, potentially replacing the backup ablative system first seen on Ship 30. Starship's heat shield tiles, though highly effective, can be brittle, and SpaceX aims to improve their reliability for repeated flights. Another unique test involves removing certain tiles altogether. By taking off rows of tiles along the heat shield edge, SpaceX may be testing ways to reduce weight and possibly improve aerodynamic efficiency. This mission could reveal how durable this design really is under re-entry conditions. So, there you have it. The latest on SpaceX's Starship Flight 6. From record-setting timelines to new tests, this mission is shaping up to be one of SpaceX's most ambitious yet. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.